So how was Agneta's music in the beginning? Hey hey! So, today I want to talk about Agneta's very first album, simply called Agneta Felskog from 1968. I will go through all 12 songs from the album and will also talk about that very special year in her career. So on the back sleeve of the LP, the album is referred to as a Sumlings LP, a compilation LP, and basically that's what it really is, since 10 out of the 12 tracks were released as single A and B sides between 1967 and 1968. So to say this album is a coherent work of art, you know, something that was conceptualized from the beginning, well, that's just not the case. They basically threw everything together. But to me, the strongest part of this album are the first five songs. Those are really holding together strong and masterful, so let's talk about the album. Ja, was so share, I was so in love. This is one of three songs entirely written by Agneta herself, and not only is it one of the big highlights of the album, but one of Agneta's big highlights, period. It is so good. The song was actually what got her a contract and professional recording career in the first place. It's melancholic, it's beautiful, I love how she harmonizes with herself during the chorus, and I love the strings on this. Agneta herself always remembers that very first day when she came into the recording studio and suddenly heard some strings playing her very own song. That must have been an unforgettable moment. Ja, half a Laura day, another beautiful song, Agneta's vocals are just heart-wrenching, and she wrote the lyrics to this, which in English means I have lost you. Utandei mit Lief Kovidare. The second song written entirely by Agneta. In English it means my life goes on without you. And again, beautiful strings. And there's a very nostalgic feeling to this song. This song was actually quite successful too. It's a really good tune. I love her vocals to the chorus. Again, double tracked with her own harmonies. And her pitch is so good. This is one of my big personal highlights. There's some mysterious atmosphere to it some choir vocals during the verses, and I love the chorus. Everything feels so melancholic, and again, it has some awesome strings throughout the song, like on many songs on this album. This is the last of these first five songs, and you probably get what I'm saying. They are all so heart-wrenching, melancholic, beautiful, and three of them are written by Agneta. So there's a beautiful coherence on this first half of the album. The final song on side A, however, is a complete change in mood, style, and tempo. It doesn't quite fit well with the flow, it's more a Schlager type of song, but I like the chorus quite a bit, so basically everything in the second half of the song. Side B opens with Tak Sverje. This one starts off like a march type of song. I like what I think is a tuba, the verses are beautiful, and I like the instrumental part towards the end playing the chorus. It's a nice little tune and definitely stays in your head. This song was written by Agneta's father, and they even performed it together in 1985 on the Swedish TV show Jestos Hage, where Agneta also even sang two of her own compositions from this album live, Java So Share and Utan Day. I love the accordion on this song, and during the chorus it sounds like there is a big choir with Agneta, but I think it's only Agneta herself. It sounds quite epic. Nice little tune. A song about Snow White and the Seven Draws, I love the verses, it's very rhythmic, and there's a children's choir, which kind of reminded me of Agneta's two albums from the 80s that she recorded with her children. The chorus is very cool, it's a nice little tune, and there's also an interesting connection with Frida, since she also recorded a song about Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs in 1971, this time a cover version from the Walt Disney film. This is more of a funny type of song, also a bit schlagerish, and as with many songs on this album, it starts with a chorus. And again, this song also bears the risk that it could be stuck in your head for quite a while. With the final two songs, for me, there's not too much to it, they are nice, and you also notice that the album is more of a compilation when some of the songs are in mono, like Feu Mei Mei. Also, all of the lyrics on side B were written by Agneta, except for In Sommer Mei Day, which was written entirely by her father. Altogether, to me, this album as a whole works really well and is such a strong start to Agneta's big career. The first half of the LP is full of melancholy and heartache, it's so beautifully sung. Again, her singing is top-notch throughout this whole album, and most of these first few songs were entirely written by Agneta herself. And then, we really have so many catchy tunes as well. She is so charming on these songs, and if you like Agneta's voice, you should love these recordings. The album already has one of her trademarks, the incredible self-harmonizing, and together with some fantastic string arrangements, it is pure joy. And also, the stereo mix is really good on this album. Now. Let's talk about the other songs that were recorded during this time. And there are quite a few. You could actually put together a very nice deluxe edition of this album. First of all, there are two duets by Agneta and Jürgen Edman. I really like the chorus on Schung den Song. Then there is a very rare track completely written by Agneta where she advises us to brush our teeth. 
This was in fact written for children and apparently even performed at local schools. Again, it has children vocals on it and quite a catchy chorus. Agneta also recorded her first four songs in German from a total of 16 German songs that she would record over the next few years. Finally, she also wrote a song for Hans Smedberg that was released as a single B-side and could very well fit between those first five songs on Agneta's album. It's a nice song. There are also eight demos and home recordings that I know of that are really worth to talk about a little more in another video very soon. I hope you enjoyed my video about Agneta's debut album. I really love hearing from all of you. So let me know in the comments below if you have any special favorite songs from this album. Alright, until then, hey though!